Happy Father's Day! Did you know that Father's Day was actually founded by a woman, Sonora Smart Dodd from Spokane, Washington? She had been raised by her widowed father as one of six kids and admired her father so much. She felt there should be a separate day to honor fathers, especially since there was already one for mothers. With some hard work, Dodd was able to get the state of Washington to celebrate the first Father's Day on June 19, 1910. But while Mother's Day, which was established in 1908, gained momentum immediately, Father's Day trudged more slowly towards the finish line of nationwide acceptance. This was partly because the men themselves did not think it was a great idea. At this present point in time, it's pretty much clear to any dad, that they are not necessarily going to receive the same amount of love and attention that mothers tend to receive from their children. That much is evident even from the stark difference in the way Mother's Day and Father's Day are celebrated. Mothers are wonderful and we really can't do much without their love and support. All the love and praise that they get are rightfully deserved. Dads on the other hand, are the ones that build the treehouses in the backyard and go outside to check when there's a strange noise in the middle of the night. And of course, their grill skills are top-notch. No one does it better than dad when it comes to manning the barbecue grill during family get-togethers. Yeah, he makes lame dad jokes like how he says hey, nice to meet you, I am dad, when you say I am hungry. Or when he says what do you call a deer with no eyes. No idea. Ugh. But you have got to admit that you do miss it sometimes when you guys are apart for a while. You probably won't miss the loud burps, though, but you are certainly used to it by now. It means he is there and available when you need him. The truth is that culture and society have put fathers in a very difficult position. You definitely heard the words just wait till your father gets home. While growing up. In the average traditional family setting, the dad is not only sometimes the breadwinner and authority figure, but he is also the enforcer and disciplinarian. The bad cop to mum's good cop. And so, most fathers find themselves having to walk in the tension of being intimate yet aloof, compassionate yet strict, working and yet available for the family. That's a lot of pressure, and we need to cut our fathers some slack. While they might have been conditioned to just suck it up and be a man, fathers actually do feel the enormous burden of their responsibilities. And because of the pressure, most tend to have a lot of difficulty showing their affection which, in turn, makes it difficult for their kids to recognize and appreciate it. But the good news is that our culture is changing rapidly, and we are seeing fathers getting more involved in their children's lives and being more expressive with their emotions. They are also making out more time to be with their families. More fathers are even requesting paternity leave upon the arrival of their newborn babies, an idea that was completely unheard of until recently. So, remember that when Father's Day was first instituted, men themselves were against the idea for several reasons, but predominantly because of the cultural perception of masculinity at the time. As holidays typically come with the exchange of gifts and gifting of flowers, a majority of men at the time felt like it would downplay their masculinity. Plus, some were of the school of thought that big stores were just trying to commercialize another holiday for the sake of profit. So, only very few men were on board. But with time, many men started to come around and Father's Day was eventually added to the national calendar. Now, more than a century later, it is celebrated all over the world. Every year, millions of people in different parts of the world, at different points in the year, take one day out to shower their fathers with gratitude and affection for the indispensable roles these men have played in their lives. Another Father's Day will be here in a few days. If you have not already thought about it, then it's not too late to start thinking of how to show your father or the father figure in your life how much he means to you and how grateful you are to have him in your life. If you are out of ideas on what you can do for your father this Father's Day, it's a good thing that most fathers are easy to please. According to statistics, most fathers love getting gift cards on Father's Day. And if you don't want to give your dad a gift card, you can also take him to see his favorite movie, baseball, or basketball, or soccer team play. Hosting a cookout for all the fathers in your family, or all the fathers in your neighborhood, is another wonderful idea if you are far from home. Plus, many dads love to fish. So, if your dad is one of those dads, 
then maybe you want to go fishing with your dad, or you could even go camping in the woods together. Whatever you choose to do, though, make sure you embarrass your dad with a show of affection this Father's Day. Your father might seem distant and aloof like he had rather you did not. But who does not like to be told and shown how loved and adored they are? No one, right? Now, get out of here and go show dad some love. Happy Father's Day to all good dads and father figure dads all over the world. Thank you for watching this video. If you love it, please give it a thumbs up, share it with others, and don't forget to subscribe.